Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't posted a story for a couple days. I've just been totally consumed with this album. It's taking way, way more time and effort than I thought it was going to, but I'm just trying to get it perfect. And I'm going back up to Santa Barbara next weekend to go back to the studio, and we're just going to keep cranking it out. Uh, remember to fund it. I've started a 800 series blotter acid art. And it'll be perforated. There's not going to be real acid on it for all you fucking narcs that think I send prescription ibuprofen and acid. Just to be clear, there's no acid on the blotter art. There's no prescription ibuprofen in the sign thing. It's just a vitamin that's signed in a little plastic cup. They're limited to 800. And the blotter art will be limited to 800 as well. They're going to be $40 a piece. They're also going to be 10 artist proofs. Um, the only way you can get that is if you send a hundred dollar GoFundMe and I'll also send a signed book with that. I've already filled five slots. There's five more. I'm only making ten of those artist proofs and that's it. And they're coming out really well. They'll be available in about two weeks. Um, <clears throat> also, for everybody that won raffle stuff, I sent the t-shirt out today. I'm sending the ibuprofen out today. Pocket butthole. I sent to the first raffle winner that should you should have that today Chris and then Scott Epperly you won the pocket butthole last week I already ordered it when it gets here I'll sign it I'll probably sign it on this live and send it out and then anyone that sent that's ordered signed books I sent out the first batch last Saturday and then there's about 40 or 50 people somewhere in that range that are waiting for signed books you gotta remember I have to special order them they have to come to me then I have to sign them, then I have to package them, then I have to take it to the post office and send. So if you do send PayPal, $20 for a signed copy of Wasting Talent, allow about two weeks. It takes a while to get it, and I apologize for the delay. If it's taking too long, just let me know. I'll refund you. They will come. Um, it just takes a while to get. I'm not used to having to fulfill this many orders, and I have a new batch coming. It was supposed to be here Tuesday. Uh, it's not here yet. I'm hoping they'll be here today. And I'll send it two day shipping, so you'll have it. You'll have it by early next week, um, as soon as I get them. So there's that. Um, T-shirts going out today. Signed ibuprofen. If you want a CD that's not out yet, and if you want a signed wasting talent, I'm just waiting for the the box of books. But I'll let you guys know when I send them out. Um, also. In one of the earlier videos, I talked about how I wanted to start sending people to treatment for free. I've been talking to a really cool couple. They're committed to the cause. If you're struggling with drugs or alcohol, contact me, and I can get you a scholarship into a treatment. We have a network all over the country, and I can get you into a detox, followed by a residential treatment center. I want to send as many people as possible. If you want to get into treatment for free, if you have insurance that makes it easier but if you have no financial means you know I still want to help you and I'll help you get to rehab so be sure to message me also if you have a loved one incarcerated a lot of people have been sending me addresses I send free copies of wasting talent to anybody that's locked up right now whether it be jail or prison um, I sent about 60 of them out last week and I have a list of 125 right now probably going to send those to prison mid-November, you know. Um, it's a big process, and if you want to volunteer some time to help send books to inmates that are in prison, be sure to message me as well. Last thing that I'll say is, you know, a lot of people give me shit for being on Suboxone. Oh, Suboxone. You got to remember this, you know. I mean, you can say what you want to me, but if you're demonizing me for using Suboxone, that means that you're also demonizing people that you know in real life for using Suboxone. I've had three years of total abstinence off everything, and I relapsed, and it almost killed me. I relapsed in 2015. I was, I was sober 100% from 2012 to 2015. I relapsed, overdosed several times. I've been to prison twice since I relapsed, and now I have a kid, and it's not about me anymore. So... It's saving my life right now, and it's making sure that my little boy doesn't grow up without um, without a father, you know? Either I'm going to be in prison or I'm going to die. People always go, well, you're weak. You're weak if you're on Suboxone. Listen, straight up, if you're measuring the world and what's weak or strong, you have an ego malady. Uh, you care way too much what other people think. I want to be a good dad. I want to be a good son. I want to be a good husband. I want to be a good friend, and I want to live. 
And right now, that's helping. So stop demonizing people that are using medication that doctors are giving them. You don't know what you're talking about, and it's a very, very dangerous, deadly sentiment to be spreading. Watch what you say. People that keep, you're high, you're sweating. It's like, you know what? I'm not high. And if I was, I would tell you. I'd tell you I have herpes. I'd tell you I have a small dick. Why wouldn't I tell you about being high? Stuff that you're spreading is contributing to the problem, not the solution. Let's start being about the solution. Let's start making the world a better place. The last thing that I'll say is on my last live feed, I had posted about a company called Carlos Tires in Los Banos, California. Carlos Tires, Los Banos, California. I had been in a bad situation in Northern California. I, brought, I blew out a tire. I brought it to them. They said, all your tires are bad. We need to replace all of them. I replaced all of them. It cost me $300 or so. I had to pay for the towing. All in all, it cost me about $700 to get these four tires. I blew it out the next day. And when I took it to the shop, they said they sold me four defective tires. And the tow truck guy that had brought me to that shop had checked to make sure the tires were okay. And he said that it was good. And then when I went to go pick up my son and my, um, my fiance at, back at the hotel, they must have just switch and bait on me. Because the tires they gave me were defective with sun cracks, about 15 years old. It could have killed my toddler. And when I, when I talked about it on the live, I guess a bunch of people left them one-star Yelp reviews and called them. I'm not telling any of you to do that. But they did fuck me over and my toddler could have died. This place is so scandalous that they changed their name on Google to Carlos T-shirts in Los Banos, California. When it's Carlos used tires. That's how scandalous they are. That must have worked. So you guys that called, left one-star reviews, I mean, my kid could have died. These people are straight pieces of shit, and I definitely appreciate you guys. Um, so let's help people get into treatment. Let's help get free books into prison. And if you want to get one of those artist proofs, next five people that send $100 to my GoFundMe, and we'll get that in a signed book. If you've sent money, PayPal for a signed book, expect about a two-week delay. Also with certain raffle items, the T-shirt's easier to get. Signed books are a little harder, and the ibuprofen I can send out immediately, and then the pocket butthole I have to order as well. So just expect a delay. Um, I'm trying to start hiring people to help me. If you want to sign up and volunteer some time, eventually I can start paying you for that. That would help as well. I'm just trying to juggle way too much stuff. I appreciate, appreciate every single one of you, and expect a new Fed story tonight. Polak.